I'm sitting in the engine room of our Halber Grassi 42, one of Integral's test boats. The Integral generator replacement technology was launched at Metz last year and consists of the generator itself, which you can see here on the front end of our Yanmar 4JH80. The generator produces a variable frequency, variable voltage electrical output, which goes to the controller, which you can see here, that converts it into a very stable 48 volt DC output. From there it goes through the red wire via the switch which I'll come back to and across to the battery bank and behind those white panels is 20 kilowatt hours of Victron lithium ion batteries and each one of those is monitored by this little device on the front which is the battery management system uh, for Integral. 40 kilowatt hours of storage is an awful lot of energy, which is fantastic if you want to run your microwave or your cooker or your water heater or kettle, but you need to be absolutely certain that it's being managed safely. Part of that management system is a interrupt switch, which is a safety switch, and that's what you can see on the screen directly in front of you now. That switch has to operate regardless of what else is going on within the system. It needs to be totally independent. Virtually all of the systems that we install are based on lithium-ion batteries, but each of those manufacturers has its own method of guaranteeing the safety of the batteries. Some are very effective, some are rather less effective, and as Integral is completely battery agnostic, we needed to produce a switch that would work with any of those systems. This switch is new for 2019 and is a highly intelligent, completely autonomous, battery agnostic lithium ion safety switch. It has a number of inputs which you can see at the bottom there all of those wires including various data protocols so we can take in CAN input we can take in serial input we can cope with analog input and we can also cope with the input from a number of different manufacturers battery management systems in this case this is the standard uh, Victron VE bus BMS uh, and you can see that goes straight into the uh, Molex connector on the bottom of the integral safety switch. The switch is connected to the integral controller via CAN bus cable, that's the pink one on the bottom there, but it's also listening to the, in this case, the Victron BMS and it has sensors of its own. So if the Victron BMS says you need to stop charging, the switch will respond and stop charging. If the Victron system says uh, you need to stop discharging, we will, we will disconnect completely. But we also have our own temperature sensors and our own voltage sensors. So if our system, regardless of what the ba other battery management system says, if our system sees a, an anomalous temperature, a very high temperature for example, um, on the battery bank, it will disconnect. If it sees a low voltage, it will disconnect. Or if it gets a message from our own controller, which is here, saying that it needs to disconnect, it will respond to that as well. The switch is bi-directional, so whether the current is flowing to or from the batteries, it works in both directions. And it has a manual override, which is the knob on the top, and it has a remote switch, so that without climbing into the engine room, which is where I am at the moment, you can disconnect it from outside. And you can also press a button on the touch screen to disconnect the batteries. So regardless of the batteries that you choose, if you fit the integral battery safety switch, your safety is assured regardless of what's going on elsewhere in the system.